This question came in 2007 for EC for two marks. The question is, for the Zener diode shown in the figure, the Zener voltage at knee is 7 volt, which means this is the starting of the breakdown region. The knee current is negligible and the Zener dynamic resistance is 10 ohms. So in this case, the Zener dynamic resistance is given, which is 10 ohms. If the input voltage VI range is from 10 volts to 16 volts, the output voltage ranges from. So first of all, let's look at the Zener diode characteristics in the given circumstances that the knee current is negligible. So let's take that to be very small and the breakdown at the knee is 7 volts. Let me take that. But we are taking here the dynamic resistance as well, which means that it will have a very small tilt. In fact, I am exaggerating and showing here. Now the first question, for the given range, will the Zener diode be in the breakdown region of operation or not? So let's see the first case that the lowest voltage, if it is operating in the breakdown region, obviously for the higher voltage, it will be. We always take that the Zener diode is off here and it is on here. So when it is off, we take it to be open circuit and when it is on, we take it with series resistance and a voltage source representing the breakdown voltage. Here it is 7 volts and this resistance is given 10 ohms. To investigate if the Zener diode will be in breakdown region or not, the first thing we do is substitute this with the open circuit. When we Substitute the Zener diode with the open circuit. Obviously, the entire input voltage gets across the Zener diode, which will be 10 volts, which means it is beyond the breakdown voltage, which means the Zener diode is operated in the breakdown region. It will not be in the off region. As it is going to be in the breakdown region for this entire range of 10 to 16 volts, so let's substitute this model that we have here in the circuit diagram. Now, for the first case, when Vi is equal to 10 volts, so when Vi is equal to 10 volts, we have some current flowing through this. That current will be equal to 10 volts minus 7 volts divided by the entire resistance there, which is 210 ohms. So this value will be equal to 0.01428. Now the output voltage will be equal to 7 volts plus the voltage drop across the RZ, which is 10 times this current, which will be 0 0.1428 volts. This is I times RZ. I is in fact found here. This is for VI is equal to 10 volts. Now, let's understand what happens when VI is equal to 16 volts. In that case, the current will be equal to 16 minus 7 over 210 ohms. This will be equal to 0 0.0428 amperes. Now, if you multiply this with the resistance RZ, we will get the voltage drop across the RZ. So, the output voltage will be equal to 7 volts plus RZ is 10, 10 times the current that we have here, which will be equal to 0 0.428. So we can write the voltage corresponding to input voltage of 16 volts is 7.43 approximately and for 10 volts this is 7.14 volts. So when the input voltage is changing from 10 to 16 volts the output voltage will be changing from 7.14 to 7.43 volts. So the answer is option C.